G'day, Daniel Watson here from Vertec IT Services, coming with you for cybersecurity tip number 56, talking about BYOD, bring your own devices. All right, so as business owners like myself cheap out and stop buying computers for our staff, and they go, well, he's got a laptop already, let's just use that. Oh, he's got his own phone, let's just use that. So a few things you need to consider, right? Uh, at the very minimum, you want to have some policies in place, something like, I don't know, make passwords compulsory, because I know that if you've got a shy, shiny new iPhone 10 and you don't have a password on it, and then somebody runs past and goes, hey, swipes and it's gone, well, if they can just open it up and get access to a corporate email, that's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Secondly, um, operational, uh, sorry, uh, operating systems, well, phones and mini computers, they have operating systems that have uh, vulnerabilities in them that get found and they need to be updated. That has to happen. Have a policy for that and find a way to make it happen. Data loss. Okay, so that phone's been stolen. What else is on it? Has there any encryption on it? Um, have you got a way to, you could, to remote wipe it or disable it in the event that it's gone walkabout? Um, just think about the data that's on it. So, those are three things to worry about. Um, there are mobile device management systems that you can get in place that um, do all sorts of wondrous things. Um, and at the very low level, uh, a lot of cloud apps actually have some functionality uh, to control passwords uh, and set minimum security requirements. So look into what those uh, are available in the systems that you already have and uh, just think about maybe taking it up one more step. All right, cheers.